Uh, welcome to uh, Hong Kong. Um, my name is Dino Hirawini. I'm with the Penguins, HSBC Penguins Coaching Academy. This week's role is to sort of push the, um, the terms of the Penguins philosophy, education in terms of schools, development, spreading the sort of gospel of rugby that we, we, we sort of developed through all regions of the world. All of the sponsorships that we have around the world, whether it's involved in golf and the rugby union here in Hong Kong, is about getting involved with our communities. We support all of the sponsorships we have, the headline sponsorships. So in this case, the Asia Five Nations, the HSBC Asia Five Nations, a major rugby tournament to develop the sport within the region. But within that, we want to make sure that kids are learning the sport. These grassroots initiatives, initiatives are absolutely everything. I mean, I've been involved at the very top end of the sport for a long time now, and it's it's great to be to come back to the roots, if you like, and get involved at the developmental level. Ready, go! John Kerwin, Gavin Hastings and Rory Underwood were on hand as the HSBC Penguins launched its 2010 Asian campaign. Asian become more and more involved in the whole tournament. Now you've got this whole uh, sort of uh, process of trying to get kids more involved and HSBC get involved in that way with the young kids. It's fantastic and as far as I'm concerned the best advice I can give to kids of that age is yeah, grab a ball, run around and enjoy yourself. It's amazing having been here for sort of best part I guess of 20 years and you just see more and more kids sort of uh, wanting to, to play this wonderful sport and uh, you know today is, is just such an example of that and uh, you know even the, the, the local children for me have got great skills it's almost like they, they've been blessed with these skills and they just need to be harnessed. Well, I think it's you know people often say to me how do you have a great uh, national team and if you don't have the grassroots and a lot of people playing then you're not going to get that and I think what we're doing here is planting the seeds and once those seeds grow we'll just get more and more people and then any team around the world, Sri Lanka, India, China, you know, Hong Kong as part of China, Japan, we can all have great teams if you get the grassroots right. I mean, at the end of the day is trying to get a smile on these kids' faces, understanding that rugby is such an enjoyable sport um, and hopefully that the message gets across to parents and the kids and say, I can't wait for next year. The most important thing for kids really is the enjoyment aspect. You know, rugby has to be fun. If it's not fun, what's the point of them coming out here? So I think if, uh, if we can exude that sort of fun and give the kids the confidence to come out, for me, that's what it's all about. Three, two, one. Asian Five Nations Top 5 action was back at Hong Kong Football Club for week three and once again it was the kids who had first crack at the pitch. But the highlight of the day was a crucial matchup between the home side and Kazakhstan. The visitors were coming off a second place finish in the 2009 campaign and an opening round win at home against the Arabian Gulf. Hong Kong needed to rebound strongly from a loss to the same Arabian Gulf side the previous week and keep their hopes of a second place finish alive. And they were able to get off to a fast start through two early penalties from Alex McQueen. Shot a goal. And he's straight and true with that one too. Maxime Lafontov got Kazakhstan on the board with a booming penalty three minutes later and narrowed the score to 6-3. Penalty to Maxime Lafontov. The teams traded another penalty each before Hong Kong upped the ante with an impressive try from front row forward Nigel Hobler. Oh, good run from Nigel Hobler! Right. He's gone all the way! The capacity crowd of 3,000 were on their feet as Hong Kong took a 14-6 advantage into the break. The only way to get in this game is for our own discipline. While Hong Kong coach Dai Reese was impassioned... We keep playing things. So all I'm asking you to do is to keep playing things, but you say. Kazakhstan coach Evgeny Zuev was collected as he urged his boys on. <laughs> Outside, some in the crowd could be forgiven if rugby wasn't the most important thing on their minds. Seven minutes into the second half, Hong Kong answered a Kazakhstan penalty with their second try, this time through centre Simon Hempel, and the Hong Kong lead was 10. 
Assistant referee's over there. And they've awarded the try to Simon Hempel. Still a bit of discussion, perhaps. Lefontov did his best to keep Kazakhstan in the match, kicking his fourth and fifth penalties of the day. And while it wasn't enough to lift Kazakhstan to victory, it did earn the visitors an important bonus point for a loss within seven points. The Kazakhstan forward pack was unable to keep the game tight, allowing the faster Hong Kong backs to create opportunities and reverse their week two letdown. Yeah, it's obviously a massive low last week losing a the Arabian Gulf in Bahrain, but yeah, we got the we got the win. wasn't exactly what we were hoping for, but um, hey, the win's a win. Japan continued their assault on the automatic World Cup slot with a convincing win over the Arabian Gulf in Tokyo to take them top of the table with a match in hand.